Well, it was a long time coming, but local Vietnam War veterans were finally welcomed home this weekend. For this week's Community Spotlight, our Sarah Winkleman takes us to the Vietnam War 50th commemoration event. It all started with a small pin. A veteran attendee came, sat down at a table and asked me if I had a Vietnam veteran lapel pin. I said no. He handed me one read a short paragraph, shook my hand, and said, welcome home. That experience led Jimmy White to host a Vietnam War 50th commemoration event in Wadena and finally welcome home local veterans. The nation called upon him. They all went. They all served. And this is a simple, small, small token. It's a small pin that holds a large place on the hearts of many. It makes you think of uh, the friends I had over there, uh, some that didn't come home, most of us did, but uh, you reminisce, it makes me think of a long time ago. During a special time of honoring those who served during November 1955 through October of 1975. You know, it's... <laughs> It's something long overdue. <laughs> For Leroy, who was born and raised in Wadena, this recognition has finally welcomed him back home. And when we actually qualified to get this, we were just kids. You know, sitting home eating popcorn and drinking a soda, watching all the flicks about Vietnam on TV. And all of a sudden, the next day, I got my draft notice. And I thought, holy buckets. I didn't know this concerned me. <laughs> Yeah, and five and a half months later, I got dropped off in the middle of the night in a place I didn't know where I was at. But now he is happy to be in Wadena with family by his side. Well, it's a pretty great moment, actually, because you get to see us all kind of honor them. You know, they never got the true honor. It's awesome to see all these guys that made the ultimate sacrifice, and they're people we look up to, especially him. 38 local veterans now have a new pin to wear with pride. And everyone that receives this pin today will not have to say I was there because it's validated, proven, documented. For this week's Community Spotlight, in Wadena, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. Most of the veterans honored were part of VFW Post 3922. Good to see them honored. So many veterans have done so much uh, for our country. Certainly have. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.